Two truths and a lie. I'm the only son, meaning I'm an only child, male. I'm an only son, I'm an only son. I meditate for two hours every single day. I mentor young adults and build strong, authentic leaders. Raise your hand if you think it's the first one. Who thinks it's the second one? Okay. Who thinks it's the third one? Who thinks that they're all true? <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Eighth grade happened, and my middle school split in half. Half my middle school went to one high school, half my middle school went to the other high school, my middle school joined up with another middle school, and we entered freshman year of high school. Now entering that freshman year, it was basically like getting half my friends ripped off. I didn't have any brothers and sisters, it was my ecosystem. So I wanted to create friends, as many friends, as fast as possible. Marijuana was fantastic at doing that. Marijuana was unbelievable at making me friends. And it was so good at making me friends that it made me friends with people that I, looking back on it, probably should not have made friends with. People that I otherwise wouldn't have connected with. After two months into my freshman year of high school, I got arrested for smoking marijuana in the school's bathroom. That sucked. Going to court sucked. Had my parents pick me up from school sucked. Getting grounded for months on end sucked. And at the time, I didn't know how to deal with the emotions, the feelings, the thoughts that were coming up within me. So I started meditating. I found an app called Headspace. I did a program called Take 10. And with Take 10, you meditate 10 minutes for 10 days consecutively. And that's how I got hooked. After doing that, after a couple months, I got my first 4.0 in school. I graduated high school. I started a business with some graduation money and some other money I'd saved up. And I ran that business for the next two years. That business was selling polo shirts. I'd sell online. I had at one time 15 interns working for me. After two years of community college, I graduated as a valedictorian. And I transferred to a university in Switzerland. While in Switzerland, I traveled around on the weekends, I made some videos, I put it up with some music, threw it up on YouTube, and over the span of two and a half years, I amassed 100 blog episodes in 23 countries. I found my passion, and it's what I'm doing today. You should meditate. Meditation will make you happy. You're gonna download Headspace, you're gonna do Take 10, you're gonna meditate 10 minutes for 10 days, and you're gonna get hooked and addicted, okay? and it's the most amazing addiction you'll ever have. And meditation is simultaneously gonna help you find your purpose. It's gonna help align your life. It's gonna give you the mental clarity, the focus, the calmness and tranquility to sit down and really interpret what's going on in your life. Tomorrow, I'm going on a 10-day meditation retreat. I'm here to tell you about the most excruciating, the most painful, and the most joyous experience of my entire life. My life's purpose is to further perpetuate meditation throughout the world. When I say that I want to perpetuate meditation throughout the world, what I really mean is that I want to influence eight billion small worlds. There's not one big world here. I have a world between these ears, you have a world between these ears, and each one of you has this world. And for some of us it's stressful, for some of us it's full of anxiety and depression at different times. But I can tell you that through meditation, you will discover a part of your world that you wouldn't have otherwise done. One that is peaceful, blissful, has serenity and harmony. Better than any drug that you could ever take. If you've ever been in a derp state before, or you've been in one the entire time I've been talking to you today, if you take away one message from what I've said, it's two words. Go meditate. Two more words. Thank you.